to continue the series of tutorials at the welcoming house of Natalia Sorokina. Today's tutorial is going to be a bit unusual. The mistress is going to share her secrets. However, the secrets she is sharing today do not concern the very process of weaving, but something else. What exactly you will see in a couple of minutes. Good day. Today I propose you to watch the way I make basic forms for weaving. Every time I start weaving, I feel that my basic form is not actually what I like it to be. But after weaving a few articles, you come to realize that you do need a basic form anyway. This way you get a smooth and neat article. Though it doesn't concern every weaver. Some of them do without any basic forms very well. I'd like to show you the way to make a rigid form with the help of corrugated cardboard. I have come to this way of making basic forms as a result of making several similar articles when you feel like shaping them in an unhacked way, unlike regular square or round ones. Here are the four basic forms I have woven many articles based on. This six angled form has been discussed in one of the blogs on Strana Masterov website. I have shown the way I make it. Today we are going to make one more base. Let's make a heart-shaped base. Here is the one, but it is far from being perfect. The hollow is too deep, which makes the weaving process rather difficult. Besides, it is too big. On the eve of St. Valentine's and International Women's Day, I feel like making one more heart of smaller size and rounder shape. Let's have a look at the way I make it. We need some thick corrugated cardboard, regular thinner cardboard of about 2 mm, a pair of scissors, a pencil, office knives, glue and the shaped base itself. I propose you to make a heart shape like this. The hole is a bit sharp here as well, but I'm going to smoothen it in the process of weaving. So, first of all, I take two pieces of corrugated cardboard big enough to fit my heart. Notice that we connect the pieces in such a way so that fluid directions were square with each other perpendicular to each other, horizontal on one half and vertical on the other one. Try the heart on, the size is sufficient. So I place one piece of cardboard on the other one and stick them to each other. I don't cut anything so far, just glue them to each other. I use dragon glue, it is qualitative frost resistant glue. So let's glue the parts and then continue. So we have stuck two parts of cardboard to each other, place the shape on and outlined it with a pencil. Now take an office knife and let's cut both pieces together. I believe it is better this way because if you cut them separately, you are likely to fail cutting both parts identical and they won't coincide perfectly. So, these two parts of corrugated cardboard will serve us as a bottom. Beside this bottom, I cut two hearts more, they all are identical. Why do we need four of them? I will show you in a minute. Now let's continue. Because these two pieces of corrugated cardboard are placed their fluid square to each other, they are very rigid. Now we have to make our basic form higher. 
how to make a form rigid enough to be able to press it while weaving with no fear. Look here. No matter how strongly I press the form, it doesn't change its shape. But if I press here at the top, the form bends, which presupposes totally different way of weaving. While here, in the lower part, you can press as strongly as you like. The base keeps its shape, because it is rigid. For this purpose we have to make the second bottom. And there has to be some distance between these two bottoms. Because the caskets are not supposed to be very high, I propose it to make distance between two bottoms about 5-6 cm. For this purpose I use such stripes of corrugated cardboard. I have cut them 5 cm wide. Now I'm going to try bending them and placing in such a way to stick to the second board. So what have I done? I just cut these stripes into short pieces. They don't have to be identical, just cut them into pieces of random length. Now we bend these pieces randomly. I do it this way. Place a ruler to a piece of cardboard and bend it like this. You can do without a ruler, but I find it easier this way. At any point, no matter how, I just bend as many pieces as we need for our form. After we have bent every piece, we cover each rib with dragon glue. And stick to our form no matter where and how. Just place them along the whole bottom. So we have placed our pieces randomly. If some pieces are not smooth, it is no problem either. As you see, I'm covering them with glue again to put the second bottom on top. Believe me, after you glue the second bottom to the top, these stiffening ribs make the base so rigid that you can even sit upon it. They are strong enough for any pressure. So we have spread glue on all the pieces. Now we need to place the third bo bottom. It is where I usually apply to the help of my family and friends. Because you have to place it in such a way so that it coincided uh, perfectly with the lower bottom. For this purpose I use triangles. I'm asking Lena to hold it. Here I will hold a ruler myself. And now let's try gluing the upper heart so that it coincided with the foundation. Let's check here additionally. Something like that. Please notice that our stiffening ribs don't necessarily have to touch the outline. Let them be inside. So this way our form is almost finished. You can check it with the ruler once again to make sure that all the points of lower and outer upper bottoms coincide. For the sake of experiment I put my granddaughter on the top. She is three years old and her weight is about 20 kilos, about 44 pounds. She can stand well enough on such a small base. So as you see it is rigid enough for heavy weights like this. You need a rigid form to be able to put a weight on it and weave. Now comes the next stage. We have to make a border for our base. It has to be smooth and convenient. I mean we have to hug the outline of the heart with cardboard. So what do I do for this purpose? I measure approximate length 
from the center to the center 27 centimeters multiplied 2 is 54 about 21 inches I check if a piece of cardboard I have is big enough it is uh, uh, 60 centimeters long more than enough I divide it into halves take a ruler this way I found it easier to put like this for the edges to meet at the lowest point of the heart because if you place it the opposite way I believe it would be more difficult to unite the edges this way it is easier to cut the excessive if necessary. That's why I decided to start from here. So I will have to glue the border to the form. Here I will stick it with no problem, but the shape is rounded and the curve is big enough. So in order to curve the card, but I have to moisten it. I'm going to moisturize it this way by spraying it with water. You can sprinkle it with water from both sides. If you dip it into water, it will make it too it will take it too long to dry out. So let's look. Now this is going to be the left side and that one the right side. Now I have to curve the left part like this. So I take a bottle and try rolling it like this. We have to direct the curve from the center. The cardboard curves well enough, it is getting soft. This way. I'm going to do all the same actions for this part, curving the cardboard in the opposite direction. 